Hey guys, what's up? Obviously, you don't. If you could read the title, I don't need an intro to this. But I want to uh, show you my class setup first to really get the fastest amount of VXP possible. Because, quite frankly, a lot of people are running really bad classes at low ranks, and I wanted to really give my input. So to start off, if you didn't see already, MP7, silencer, and foregrip, and I'll go into explanation about everything I'm using after uh, in the free for all gameplay. So you can see all the perks I'm using: Ghost Scavenger, Engineer, Bouncing Betty, One Black Hat. I'm using a uh, primary gunfighter with the extra attack of uh, FMJ to get the extra damage boost but we'll go into definition and explanation of all this stuff but to really, uh, really quickly give you uh, you know a quick overview is to say that this class setup is really best for the rusher slash I'm trying to slash I'm trying to get the fastest amount of kills as possible because if you're sitting there and you're camping you're not gonna get kills you're not gonna get points this is really a fast way to level up and uh, another suggestion too I have right off the bat is immediately go for the score streaks you think you can get I really recommend doing UAV counter UAV and uh, orbital V set but obviously those ones are higher up in uh, level ups so you can only do as uh, what you can get at that level so work around that but uh, as you can see in this lobby right here guys these guys I was playing against this is the first match I did with this class setup and these are you know the stats of the guys that I'm playing against so you can see and uh, I did something really bad that you're not supposed to do I switched my class setting or my internet setting from best to normal for those of you who don't know, because of the bad lag compensation of the game, you should really be playing on best because that gives you the best set settings without ca um, you're causing too much lag. So, um, let's go into depth and analysis right now about everything I'm using. MP7 with the foregrip is the main primary part of this gun. Now, you can swap this out for a secondary, but I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, what I do is I use the foregrip and FMJ. Now, depending on what game type you're playing, you really should be focusing around the fact that uh, you, you want to be quiet. I mean, unless you're playing TDM domination these games where you know you can be as loud as you want you really should be running FMJ and if you have the third attachment extended clip because that gives the MP7 infinite more amounts of power and more bullets to shoot at your enemy but if you're using the silencer in a free-for-all search and destroy type gameplay it's immediately gonna give you that benefit of you have more bullets to land on the enemy before they realize that they have to turn around and kill you so immediately that gives you the perk over FMJ or uh, extended mag uh, secondly, why am I running the perks? Well, you can't run Ghost and Scavenger unless you uh, perma unlock these things early. So I really do recommend that for people who have yet to prestige. Uh, if you do prestige, the first thing I recommend is Ghost because Ghost will give you that power over everybody else to avoid UAVs. Uh, but then next up is Scavenger. Now, why did I pick one Bouncing Betty and one uh, Black Hat? I'll explain that. Bouncing Betty gives you the power of trust I guess you can say you no matter where you are on your map you always know if your bouncing betty goes off and if you know where you place your bouncing betty it gives you that power of uh, I know where on the map the enemy is so why I use that is also because of a bouncing betty will protect you from behind it will give you that benefit of if you're rushing at somebody and you think there's somebody behind you you toss it behind you and you can run forward with the ease of mind saying hey there's somebody who's behind me like I use it right here I knew that guy was still coming after me so I tried to deke him out a little bit uh, so that's gonna give you a really big benefit also I, I hate to say it but a lot of people are stupid and they don't know how to avoid bouncing betties secondly uh, why one black hat because Hacking equipment gives you 10 times the advantage you would imagine. You can take down kill streaks with it, you can hack uh, enemies' equipment, that's why I run Engineer with it. And then on top of it, Black Hat gives you kind of a troll ability. You know, you can mess with people who you play with. It doesn't matter who they are. You can just kind of take advantage of things that they do. Or like, for example, you know, you want to corner trap your friend and steal his care package. They can do things like that. But um, running Scavenger with it will give you the perk of whenever you like say you run out of your first bouncing betty in black hat you can shoot an enemy like i do here and i laid up my bouncing betty and then i go and pick up another uh, scavenger box that somebody i just killed and i can lay down another bouncing betty and it gives me the double bouncing betty and once again that perk of i have two places down where i know the enemies might be if they trip the bouncing betty so those are really why I run those things. Now, I'll tell you why I run third attachment on my MP7 is because foregrip is something you cannot afford to not have on your uh, SMGs because on your SMGs, you need that uh, the less recoil. If you're recoiling all over the place, you need to have very good control over your gun, and it's really difficult to do, especially if you're a starting player. So I also do uh, silencer because, as I said before, if it, you, you have that advantage over uh, killing an enemy uh, or attacking an enemy who's turned away, there's less chance they'll find you beforehand because if you're using an unsuppressed weapon, they see the red dot and they're more prepared for you on one side of the map. So, uh, in terms of score streaks, what do I recommend? I recommend what you can get. I said this earlier. 
if you know for a fact that you can get if you you get 2.0 KDs in most games, you should probably be running UAV care package, lightning strike like I do, things that you know you can get. But if you are a high kill streaker, I'd really recommend getting lightning strike. Don't use the hellstorm missile because that will infinitely just slow you down. <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, use things like uh, UAV, counter UAV, orbital V set because those will give you more points to rank up faster. But the lightning strike and things like the war machine, the sentry gun are actually a lot more powerful than you can imagine. Like here, I'm using the sentry gun to take down this uh, counter UAV. Fortunately, it flies away on me, but. If you can manipulate your killstreaks like that and use them for purposes of gaining points faster, you're going to rank up much faster. That's the whole point of this. Now, everybody's got their own tips and tricks. I always recommend running Black Cat, even in game types that seem obscure because like you can see right here, Black Hat can give me the power to take that guy's guardian, which otherwise would have gotten him another kill. And like I said, this is the first free for all match I played running this class setup, so I'm trying to show you that this is a no BS thing. I mean, I sped up the video because I was in waiting lobby for like 5 minutes. But everything you see here is a really good tip to really rank up fast. And I mean, you got to you got to take it with a grain of salt because everybody's going to have their own perks that help them out, but I really do recommend this one, especially if you're a starting out player, because the foregrip gives you that, you know, the less recoil, which allows you for somebody, I can control my gun, you know, my gun recoil a lot better than somebody who just started off, but any way it, you look at it, it helps you no matter what. And uh, things like the, you know, running the certain perks that I say, they're all because, uh, you know, you got to think of the enemy as well. If you're going to play and try to get as many points as possible, you have to be able to anticipate what your enemy is going to do. And immediately, if you see, like, your friend, or right here, you can see the enemy lay down a freaking bouncing Betty. If I didn't have Engineer there with the Black Hat, I probably would have died to that. So, using those perks to your advantage will really give you more points and help you rank up and much faster, guys. I do hope you enjoy the video. I know it's a little late to be telling people this, but I see a lot of people low level not using these tips, and these are the best things. As you can see, I got free and OKD, okay guys. I do hope you enjoy the video. Any feedback you want to leave me, leave me a comment. And if you want to share this around on Twitter or Facebook, I'd really appreciate it, guys. And uh, yes, guys, the reason I'm talking so strange is because I'm actually sick and uh, a little nasally, so I'm very sorry about that.